What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Ned Jerry Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, it is pretty much understood that phase four has been sort of a letdown. And Brian is like, we couldn't expect Marvel to keep it at that high level no way home it was gonna be tough we knew this going in we were certainly excited about all the content that was coming our way through uh disney plus and some of the movies we were excited about multiverse of madness that turned to be something else um we thought thor love and thunder was gonna be one of the best stores movies that we were uh, uh, going to see, and that totally didn't work. Um, Eternals, there was a whole bunch of stuff, and none of them actually stood out other than Wakanda for me. Wakanda Forever was one of the standouts. For some, it was Shang-Chi. We have finished Phase 4, and now we start off with Phase 5 and Phase 6, and... Brian, we had some announcements prior to the announcements of Phase 5 and Phase 6. And now with the JPEG virus situation, things have changed. And this is a conversation, Brian, that we had discussed that what would be the ramification of all this, uh, all these things happening. What was the number one thing we said? Quality (laughs) over quantity. (laughs) Less content. Quality over quantity. Yeah, I think we have, well, we have some broader rethink and we have articles titled Marvel reportedly taking a quality over quantity approach (laughs) to phases five and six. Sources report, quote, as a preventative measure to assure quality control, Marvel and Disney are reevaluating the future releases of movies and shows that aren't in production. So what does phase five and phase six look like now? Brian, I'm pretty sure you have a list of what they've announced. Let's talk about what stays and what what goes. Yeah, absolutely. So I thought the format, we we thought we would kind of go through what Kevin Feige has publicly laid out at at Comic-Con and at D23. And we kind of bucket the different projects into keep, meaning we want to, we want to at the same time, same project cancel which is we're going to pull a david zaslav and we're just going to wipe this off the board entirely like it never happened yeah delay which is we like it maybe but let's 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 pump the brakes spread it out yeah yeah yeah. and the last category is change the medium and the reason why this is in the equation is because armor wars was supposed to be a television series it was changed to a movie and nate moore said it was because we were chopping up around ideas and just realized that these ideas led them lent themselves more to a big budget film than a smaller budget tv so i'm going to put the option in is there any project we come across where you would change how you would structure and release it so that's the four categories that we have so we're literally going to go down the list and kind of and talk it out and this is these are our instincts because we really haven't kind of had a chance to process this which i think is good so i'm just going to take it through the calendar First out of the gate, according to the calendar we have, early 2023, what if season two on Disney Plus? I think what if offers an opportunity to show what if we would have done it the right way. (laughs) So I happen to agree with you just because this type of show, it has no limit. So I and it kind of exists on the side. I don't think it actually clutters your calendar. I'm okay with it. Yeah. This one I think will be easy. February 2023, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Can't wait. Keep. Yeah, yeah he, I can't wait. Not can't even worth discussing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spring of 2023, Secret Invasion, Disney+. Plus. Brian, you, you've always heard me say that Secret Invasion is a huge storyline. I'm quite certain there's nothing we can do about it now, just like Quantumania. 
Um, but with Secret Invasion, you have an opportunity to try and experiment with a storyline that I think justifies a, a big event. I, I think I think you and I are in the camp, and I, I've come around to your thinking, which is that this probably might have been better served as a film. Uh, it's too late. Obviously, it is done, but like I tend to agree with you. I would delay it. Let me make the case. Okay. It's too close. Like Quantum Mania is in February, and we'll get to the next project. The next film comes out in May. I don't like this being sandwiched between the two movies when, to your point, I think the storyline demands more attention. I would move this back to the end of 2023 at a period where there's no movie and kind of have it be both the gotcha, movie gotcha. and the prestige TV show at the same time. I would kick this to the end of 23. And I honestly would say, if you want to say what up, what if is early in the year and that's its own thing, secret invasion late in 23, I'm putting it down saying those are my only two Marvel shows for 2023. Yeah. yeah. Even though there's at least one other one that, deserves to be on there i'm i'm stretching this all out so i'm saying i delay secret invasion to like holiday season i agree all right may 23 guardians of the galaxy volume three um obviously we can't do anything about that that movie is shot filmed edited probably um and this is is, is the swan song so there's no reason to delay and obviously we're not going to get rid of it um so um yeah. yeah it's a movie I, I i'm i'm looking forward to seeing brian hopefully i can be as entertained as i was in the first movie and 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 hopefully satisfied with the the landing of the plane if you will yeah i agree i mean at, at this point when we look at the state of the marvel universe this is probably about as reliable as a property as they have so i actually think having it at the out, outset of summer makes a lot of sense mm. so yes i mean this one is going to be kept but I think they're fine not moving this around. Now we get into something where we already have confirmation. Summer of 23 was supposed to be Echo on Disney Plus, but that has already been confirmed to be delayed at least several more months, even though the series has been shot. So what do you think is going on here? I think they are moving it closer to Daredevil. From what we hear, Daredevil and Kingpin will appear in Echo. It just makes more sense not to have that long, long of a gap. Um, if we feel, if if they feel that Daredevil and Kingpin is, we don't want to linger on whackness. If it is, if it is whack, and then have that gap, and then the interest will fall out. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully they feel confident enough that they want to delay this and that is dope and that it leads to the next the excitement for the next uh daredevil series i think you hit on it i i everything i'm hearing from charlie cox and vincent d'onofrio leads me to believe that this this show is really kind of the backdoor pseudo pilot to to, to get you in even more like daredevil's appearance in she hulk i don't think was really meant to do much for daredevil this show feels like it is yeah for both daredevil and kingpin so I think you're right. I think they want to stack this one with Born Again and almost make it feel like you're watching some continuity there. So I think this might be a little more tactical on their part. I don't think you actually see this at the 2024. I know there's rumors that it might be at the end of 23, but I think to your point, I think this will come pretty close to Born Again. So, all right, so that's already been delayed. Now, here's the tough one for me. You know, we're trying to move pieces around. Summer of 23 was also supposed to be when Loki season two came out. Do you still want it next summer or do you want it in a different slot? So because we know it's going to be good probably and we know it's done. So where do you want it to be? Yeah, because I there's a, there's a lot of Brian uh, excitement for Loki season two and with Kang and all that. If if Jonathan Majors is everything we think he's going to be in Quantumania, we can't wait to see him. So I think leave it as is. Okay. So I, I don't know if this would have been possible and maybe it's the timeline is by design. I think in a perfect world, I would have moved this up and put it close to Ant-Man 3. So you get a lot of majors. But I don't know how connected those two projects are. So it's hard for me to say that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's, if I was going to do it in 2023, I almost wonder if the gap is like a little bit too large if majors is a big part of the series and, and the film. But that that's 
that's just me. Now, this was going to be a very busy summer. And this goes to the point of clutter to me because we just had Echo that got moved. We had Guardians at the start of the summer. That's fine. We were supposed to have, we're, we're going to have Loki. And then at the end of July, a project that I think you and I are nervous about, the Marvels. Now, again, it's not going to move. This is going to happen. But just yeah. in, in our in our scenario, what would you do with it? Uh, I would delay it. I am with you. Are we sure they got it right? That's that's I'm the scared. question. That's the question. Because you're hearing musicals. You're hearing... I don't know, Brian. I don't know. I don't think we are going to better the first Captain Marvel. And that wasn't a great movie. Um, now you're going to get your wish. We finally we got confirmation. Blue Marvel is in this movie. Marvel, Marvel itself. Confirmation from where? Marvel itself confirmed it. Marvel's own uh, social media said he said Blue Marvel will appear in this movie, oh, and there'll wow. be some sort of time traveling element. Or okay. I guess maybe he's a romantic interest of some kind to Carol Denver's at some point in this timeline. But yes, Blue Marvel. You got your wish. Blue Marvel's in this movie. Nothing on casting, but. The character is coming. Again, um, I've heard rumors that uh, the the character will be played by uh, an actor that he uh, appeared only once in this Netflix show called Dear White People. I, I forget which episode he appeared in. Um, the, the guy is from Canada. Uh, I, I was trying to find him today. It's like I can't find the, 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 the messages where I, I received this information, but that is what I'm hearing. There are people out there that are saying um, Denzel Washington. Come on, man. No. Come on, man. I would make a case for Blair Underwood. <laughs> you saw, he's, you, uh, he's an underrated actor. I, I give I, I give that to you. Yeah. That's that's a guy that can that still looks the same and, and is an older guy. So if you wanted to go that route, but Denzel and this guy, uh, Denzel just doesn't doesn't suit the part um, for me. I, it, Denzel is Denzel, man. He um, or he's not taking fourth billing in a Marvel's ensemble movie, man. Like, come on, okay. it's, it's, like, it's just not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> so it, that being the case, Brian, I'm more curious and interested in seeing. Excited, no, because I, based on what I've heard about the Marvels, I'm not too. I, I'm a bit concerned. Yeah. But uh, because they're going this, they're introducing Blue Marvel in this, I'm interested and curious to seeing what that will be. And I'm hoping that he he's a character that you can do a solo film and, and it'd be dope. So, um, yeah, I, I'd leave it just for the purposes because I want to okay, see Blue so Marvel. Keep it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. still delaying it. I think... I think February, May, July is a little tight for my taste for three Marvel films with the state of the world that we're in now. I'd rather I'd rather get momentum off of Ant Man, you know, hopefully get the good vibes from Guardian Three, and then take a little bit of a break. I probably would put I would probably slot the Marvels in the fall, you know, in the back to school slot, maybe like September. Maybe I, we've seen movies do well mm -hmm. in that fall time frame. We just saw Wakanda Forever in November break all sorts of records. Now this movie's not going to be as good as that one, but. I, I would space it out. I think three movies in five months. I think the audience is kind of telling you we're 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 a little over that unless it's unless they're classics. So I don't think this one is necessarily measuring up to that level. I'd give it more space. The selfish the, the selfish me says yes, keep it because of Blue Marvel. But the business me says delay it in hopes that you can catch some momentum and make more money from it. Um, rather than in the slot that is in now so then we move to what was supposed to be in the fall of 2020 it's crazy how much stuff is in next year in theory fall of 2023 was supposed to be ironheart on disney plus so in the original schedule this would have been the fourth tv show of the year you had what if or sorry fifth you would have had what if secret invasion loki echo and then this now echo's been punted but like this is tough because if you haven't done anything, I, I'd click cancel it. It's a hard call, right? So I yeah. think at the very least, I would delay it and really delay it. Like, I think she, I think like, I think Dominique Thorne did a nice job in Wakanda Forever. They just gave it too much, but yeah. Exactly. I just feel like the movie gave, it's like the movie stole from this show too much to where I'm like, I don't know that I need it right now. And this feels like a show that like, if Disney's on really strong footing, 
is probably fine. If Disney's on shakier ground with its audience, this is one that feels like it could it could go get back. The yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm a little scared. I probably would put this one, and she's pretty young, the actress. So I'd probably put this one honestly a good ways out. I mean, like 24, 25, like give people a real break. It's fine. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get I think we're gonna get even uh harsher on the next one. We'll see. We're again, we're still in 2023, <laughs> people. Just to give you a sense how crazy this was. Winner of 2023, Agatha Coven of Chaos. How I'm not interested. No. But if if you're the business guy and this movie has been I mean this movie this show has been greenlit and I'm pretty sure they they filmed it already Brian do I release it in 20 I don't know it all depends on what my plans are with Doom The reason being because there is some connection there um but as a solo thing just because she was what's her, what's her name Catherine Hahn Catherine Hahn yeah um, just because she did, she made she did a great job in 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 um, what's it called? Wanda Wanda Vision is again is like just because somebody liked this does it mean you do this only or I don't know? Um, but I I wouldn't have gone through with I wouldn't have greenlit this. Yeah, I would cancel it. I don't. I, I I'm going full Zaslav. I don't care if they've shot it. I don't care if it's yeah. done. I'm canceling it. And I, and if there are big, I know there's rumors of like, we finally do get Mephisto in this series. Like, I don't care. Like you can write yeah. him into, you can write him into some other project. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll be good. Like, yeah. I, I want, I don't, I don't think this cuts it. I think it's yeah. off the calendar. Um, last one for 2023, still in 2023, but this one, I think, I think was safe to say we're both going to say X-Men 97. Ugh. That, that's me easy. now yeah that's the, that's, the, that's the easy one of the tv was we keep that one <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so then we have a, a like a five-month break in the original calendar may 3rd 2024 captain america new world order um i'm full steam ahead still on this. okay i agree with you I, we're both very curious about this one now spring of 2024 was supposed to be daredevil born again mm -hmm. that's what they've got right now mm -hmm. I think you're onto something. I think Echo will back up to this series. So like if, let's say if Echo comes in the first quarter of 2024 and this comes out in April, are you okay with that? I would probably give it a little bit of space. I'd move it to perhaps 18 episodes. Oh man. I would do fall going into 2025, 18 episodes. I don't know how you're going to release it three at a time. I don't know. There's 18 episodes. I don't know if you want to do week to week. You may want to experiment with doing three episodes at a time. But to start in the fall with prime time, you know, I think that would be the time for to release Daredevil. So I would delay it. You entered, I agree. And you anticipated my, my follow-up, which is going to be, how would you structure the release of this show? Because I agree with you. I think if you do one a week for 18 weeks, you're going to lose some audience. Yeah. Even if it's good. Yeah. Like, like, you know, we, we thanks to everyone who watched our and or recap show, but like, that's a show that was, I mean, operating on full cylinders for 12 consecutive episodes that, and they released the first three as a package, right? To get yeah. you going. So yeah, yeah. 18, it kind of feels like you have to be doing some bundles here to yeah. kind of <laughs> just keep people on board. Even if, you, yeah. even if the show is great, yeah. I agree with you. I would delay it. And again, I think if you want some of these Disney Plus, if you want the Marvel brand to be prestigious on all platforms, I would do it and get the movies out of the way. Like, I would be like, this is your Marvel. Yeah. You want to see Marvel product? You go to the service. You yeah. sign up and you watch this. There's nothing coming to the theater around this show. So yeah, I'd I go agree. 824 and I would just back out the rest of the calendar. Yeah. Which means... This is one I struggle with. July 26, 2024, we are supposed to get Thunderbolts. Because, yeah, I still don't know what this... There's speculation that these people are going to be going into Wakanda. I don't know what the story will be about, but um, I would just find a better way to introduce the Thunderbolts and not make it look so similar or feel similar. I don't know as Suicide Squad, because 
that's what we keep hearing in terms of what they're trying to do. Are we positive this is a movie? So you're saying... What if we made it a show? Uh, yes. 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 Like, are we sure? I forgot we had that option, but that's it, the that's the better. This was option. the first yes. project where I was, you know, you had Secret Invasion. I agree with you. This was the first project where I actually thought about going the other way. I said, could we make an argument that an eight episode type of format, even ten, would that serve this project a little better? You look at the success of the boys. I don't think this, the, the perhaps the the movie is if you do the movies as uh, you do the boys as a movie. Certainly, you see something different, something way out there, perhaps. Um, but you, do you, but can you get as invested in the, the characters of the boys if you only have two to two and a half hours? Yes, and that is the point, um, and that's why the boys on us. When we, listen, the, when the season of the boys comes out, that is one of the most anticipated shows people are waiting to see. After the first season, everybody was like, I can't wait for season two. I think for the Thunderbolts, you have so many different characters. Let's spend some time with them and not do I didn't care about none of the characters in Suicide Squad. I'm sorry. And like the I, Thunderbolts is, I feel I'm going to have the same feeling towards. Yeah. And I, I, I'm just not, and similar to, you know, even within the Suicide Squad, it's like not each of the individual characters, I think, is a film level lead character. So I almost feel like you could structure a show, for example, where like each episode is from the perspective of a different member of the team, if you wanted to kind of get cute with it. But then to your point, like, I just feel like we care more about like Red Guardian versus the new Black Widow versus Zemo. Like in some ways, you know, Zemo was fine in in Civil War, but I, I enjoyed Zemo more almost because we spent more time with him in Falcon and Winter Soldier. So I know they won't do it. Yeah. But I'm making the case to me, and I, I actually have, because this is a summer slot, and what, the next project is a film, mm -hmm. I would make a trade. I would move the next project we're going to talk about up, and I would make this a TV show, and I would wait on it a little bit. How far do you think they're into Thunderbolts? Well, I mean, they haven't shot anything. I mean, they, they've they've just started writing this. They, they they could do it. I mean, there's there's no reason they could do it. But I also I don't know that like I mean, Harrison Ford is doing a TV show on Paramount right now. But I don't know that he signed up to Marvel to do a TV show. So he is. I mean, I, I I'm pretty sure things have been written in stone already. So it was whatever, right? Is I guess that's what you're saying. Although I I will say this: if they made it a TV show and it was really good. Julia Louis Dreyfus might have locked up like the greatest television actress of our generation, <laughs> right? Like Elaine, <laughs> Veep, Christine, and a Marvel show that people, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah. man. I don't think anyone's beaten that in yeah, you know, yeah, the last yeah. 30 years. Um, the next project, though, this is the one I would actually move up into the summer slot vacated by Thunderbolts if you make it a TV show, Deadpool 3. What, say, what would you do again? So, so Deadpool 3 is supposed to come out November of 24. And I'm saying if you if you make Thunderbolts a TV show and you remove it wow. from the July calendar, I would put Deadpool into the summer. I think Deadpool plays better as a summer movie. Yeah, than a holiday movie. The, uh, for sure. Thanksgiving, Deadpool, rated R. Confirmed to be rated R. Yeah. Like John Levy the other day was like, we're going hard R with this. So I don't see why the summer would wouldn't have been the first option. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get the that. The other two were summer movies, weren't they? I believe so. I think I, I mean, I, I'll look that up. Okay. I'm pretty sure that they were. Um, so that, that, uh, that was the last movie of 24. 24 also had a couple of lighter TV shows that I, I don't know how we feel about, but we were supposed to get Spider-Man freshman year and Marvel zombies. They never gave us a date. They were just supposed to be in calendar 24. You care do you want to do anything with those shows do we need both of them i don't know what were the shows again uh spider-man freshman year and marvel Zone. was that was, was there a trailer for that for uh yes there, yes there was yes i i haven't seen it i haven't heard anything brian which is not a good thing um what did you think about it i would you know 
and, is, and is it with Tom Holland's voice? I don't think so. Okay. Not positive, but I don't think so. Um, okay. Yeah, it's kind of lukewarm on both. Like, I actually thought, I, I, I knew the zombie show was coming. It's not, that's not my kind of show. And yeah, animated I mean, yeah. zombie show with Marvel is not, my, I like the episode they did in What If, but I don't yeah. really think I needed a whole show on it. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, Spider Man freshman year, I think it's tough. Like, again, because it's like, when you're pumping me up for X-Men 97 and that's supposed to be a two season endeavor of 24 episodes. I just don't know. I have room for this, right? That's the point about like this calendar quality over quantity. And it's too cluttered. Like I want to focus I would on cancel that. 97. Yeah. I would, I'm, I'm I would cancel you. that. Um, so now we're into 2025 um, and things get kind of interesting. So February 25, we're supposed to get fantastic four. It's hard to say now, Brian. 2025 is a long way from now. I think it's ample time to to get that story going and the right uh, players involved to make that a successful film. I think you keep it. Um, unless we come... Uh, listen, if 2023 we get no news of it or any progress, then yeah, I start thinking delay. But for right now, I'd keep it. Yeah, I agree. I think I think that one's a big enough one. It's different from what we've seen. It, it, that, by that point, they will also be a full 10 years out from the debacle of the Josh Trank Fantastic Four. I think the audience will digest that in a way that like we saw with Suicide Squad, audiences really weren't ready five yeah. years later to come right back to, to those characters, even if they were done better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, floating in the ether around this time, we don't know for sure where, Blade. I'm just going to float it. Do you want it in 2025? Do you just want that totally shelved until we're, we've got it? The house, we got a new director. We've got Jan DeMong directing. We've got a new writer. Like, do we just go full speed ahead on this now? Or what do you, what do you think? Again, we have ample enough time to get situate that. Um, my only thing is, what are, are we getting prior to that? Um, if this is your first outing into what well, we have, I mean, we did get into the monster world with um, Werewolf by Night. Um, and it was rumored that he was supposed to make an appearance, but they wanted to save that because yep. you know the his appearance is is not coming anytime soon. So what will happen in between that? This first outing has to be magnificent, Brian. Blade has to be dope. This first outing. Um, I would keep it. I would keep it in its in its current state in in terms of release so, date. All right, so we're putting it into 2025. It was originally supposed to be, I think, 2023, putting it into 2025. Okay, so now we're basically left with um the Avengers films and some unknown films. But Kang Dynasty is supposed to come out in May of 2025. Does that feel okay to you still, or would you push that even further? Well, you have Quantum Mania coming out in 2023. You have Loki. We have our two servings of, of Kangs. Um, I don't I don't know what's happening in between that if Kang shows up in any other uh situation, Brian. <sighs> we don't want a too big a break in between them, because we want, certainly want to finish that off. Will the Kang dynasty be the end? I'm pretty sure Kang will have something to do with Fantastic Four. It only makes sense for that to be the case. But if you're not doing that, I think I, I think Kang is going to be there. I think we keep it because I think Kang is going to be involved in a lot of the big storylines in the movies, um, where we're going to have to get that Kang dynasty film. I, I think we keep it as is for now. So. Here's my only question about that, and it's one we've been wrestling with. With what we've got on the calendar between now and then, do you think we actually have a strong enough Avengers lineup to front that movie against him? Like, we, if we assume Fantastic Four is good, and you're right, I think there'll be a connection. We, we, that means we've got them in the fold. Mm -hmm. They would have to be in the lineup. We've got Ant-Man and Wasp from Holdovers. We've got sort of 
the the might of Wakanda. We've got new new Black Panther and and Baku and all those all those characters. We've got new Captain America, and we've kind of got the Thunderbolts. And then we it, it doesn't sound like we're gonna have Thor. We Shang Chi is out there, but to your point, I don't think they could throw Shang Chi into this movie five years after he last appeared on screen and expect him to carry real weight. So, and right. I guess maybe you've got Tom Holland Spider Man. I, I look at this and I'm like, this is kind of shaky still. I think it is impossible of us to ask that the first Avengers be as successful as the first Avengers that came out or any of the Avengers. Perhaps, perhaps better than Age of Ultron, who knows, but it's a hard task given the characters that we have. As a lineup that you just stated, it just doesn't. Right, I forgot. I forgot Doctor Strange. I, I sorry, I forgot that. Which kind of says something in of itself that I didn't. Yeah, think yeah, it yeah. yeah. One of those powerful sure. ones they have. Exactly. So it's tough. I, 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 it's it's tough. I don't think we 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 certainly delay it. I think it's just it's it's going to be whatever it is. I don't think the yeah. expectation should be so like this. Obviously, it's an Avengers film, so you expect big numbers. But in terms of uh, it being as successful as the others have been, I think it would be a, a, a high bar to, to for them to try to achieve. Yeah, I agree, and I, and I, I forgot other care. I forgot the Marvels. Like, there's the point is like this to me is the clear example of quality versus quantity. There are many more heroes at their disposal than there were in 2012 when we basically just had Iron Man, Thor, Cap, and then we brought hulk hawkeye and widow into the avengers basically after some cameos or smaller parts in the other films but it doesn't feel like we have the same degree of anchors with no. this lineup we just have a lot of bodies yeah like who that's what i'm just trying to think in my head like who's who's going center like majors is going to be centered on the poster so who it, it's probably re whoever gets to play reed is probably Who's got the biggest drawing on the poster opposite him right now? Henry Cavill is Reed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I guarantee you, Henry Cavill and and Camp will be reaching out to Kevin Feige and saying, "All those conversations we had, <laughs> my calendar <laughs> is clear." <laughs> Word up. So, but that's my struggle. It does feel like you need a big star and you need a star-making performance that we have yet to see from our existing lineup. That could be the Fantastic Four, but for me, it's like Fantastic Four, they're not Avengers. The Fantastic Four. And I do think, to your point, Secret Wars is supposed to come out one year after Kang Dynasty, which would, or actually, sorry, was supposed to come out six months after Kang Dynasty. I would delay. make that a year. Delay. That's a delay. Yeah. I, I think we saw with Infinity War and Endgame, that calendar year was right for a two part story. Six months. When you say six months, the only thing I get in my head is Matrix Reloaded and Revolutions. And that went so badly. And they yeah. were six months apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do Secret Wars. Uh, once you get Robert Downey Jr. back, Chris Evans back, all those people back. So you got those secured. And then you then you start talking about Secret Wars. If you don't have that, then you're just going to have to put up whatever it is you're going to put up into Secret Wars. And, and I don't think you want to go. Secret Wars is a huge, because again, I've said Secret Wars could lead to a reboot of the MCU. And it, and it has to end off with, because we're talking about the multiversal war. We're not talking Thanos and Five Rings. We're talking multiversal war. If you watch Loki season, uh, season one, Miss Minutes laid it out, and this has to be a spectacle, Brian. And it, for me, my, the expectation is for Secret Wars to, to to battle it out again with Avatar. Yeah, no, that's a hundred percent. I mean, that you, you don't you don't greenlight that movie with anything other than the intent that you're going for the all time box office crown. And did you happen to see, by the way? So Robert Downey Jr. has been out on the promotional circuit for his documentary about his father. Mm -hmm came out recently he's he's squawking about tony stark he flat out said in one of the interviews i don't think i'm done 
There you go. That's it. That's what I think. That's, it's, I think that's yeah. it. I think yeah, that yeah, clearly yeah, is yeah, him yeah. telling you that it's somebody's life, had a conversation. Life model decoy. That's how you bring it back. But I said, Brian, I was looking for that conversation that we had. What I said, you never know if they Robert Downey Jr. They're going to reach out to him because they, they, they can't go out on a bad. No, Brian, that was Secret Wars. They well, the they, rumor the rumor is Kevin wants to do right. He basically wants to have some assemble ish scene, like the portal scene in Endgame, where they basically bring all the OGs back alongside all the new generation, and it's sort of this cross universe battle against Kang and his variants. And so, I, I mean, I just feel like the breadcrumbs are being dropped now with RDJ saying that that like yeah like there, there, there's definitely like a long range keep your calendar open kind of conversation being had yeah they're gonna do whatever it can to make it happen so and you know Bob Iger's gonna open the checkbook oh, for that hells yeah like that's not really a question but yet again, the Nerdian report has said this quite some time ago that the possibilities for Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, these guys to come back, it, 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 for, especially for Robert Downey Jr., that door wasn't closed. Uh, and it, it satisfies was, Chris yeah. Evans too because he had said he didn't want to do the same Steve again. And here's your easy way out yeah. for him to do a different version of his character. But still yeah. be Captain America in some some form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, were there any other? No, I mean that was it. I mean that, that's why I think when you go through it, there aren't that many cancels. I think that was that I had the same. I was I was wondering if you would have more, but I think we were in the same camp. There's only really a handful of things you would take off the schedule. My biggest complaint, like I said, is the movies are too clustered, and there's way too many TV shows, especially next year. Yeah, yeah, 2023 is going to be packed to me it's like they got to get this back down to maximum three movies a year and i'm okay with two if they don't have the right mix and like maximum to me is like two live action shows and one animated show a year like i don't need more than that yeah like i nate moore was funny when he was talking about armor wars flat out was saying like there's a big budgetary gap between what they allocate for a disney plus show what they allocate for a movie in my mind i'm like well, if you cancel a few movies or a few series and you spread them out, bring the budgets up. Yeah. Some of these shows, like part of the issue is you can tell that some of these shows don't look the way they should look. And it's like, yeah, so yeah. why put them, why put more of that out? You, 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 you're spending, you're, you're wasting money pretty much. And hurting your audience in the long run. Absolutely. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the lineup for Phase 5 and Phase 6. What would you keep? What would you delay? Um, they have a lot of stuff coming, Brian, and for 2023 especially. Uh, but 2023 will sort of give us an indication of what 2024, 2025 might bring, if especially if we start off how we started phase four. We can't get another phase four or else it is over. That's the problem is like for Secret Wars to have a shot at two and a half, three billion dollars. The the stuff before it has to work, right? Like Endgame, Endgame could have been the same movie it was, but if we had had 10 subpar movies in a row, the box office is probably half of what they did. Yeah. They yeah. earned. They earned the right to have everyone go break records. Of course, with that move. Of course, you cannot do it. You cannot do it any other way. Look at Justice League. That's it. You want to see the alternative reality? It's right there in front of you. A you movie that should have made billions of dollars because yeah, that's that is sad. That is a, like if you know knew nothing, and I told you that Justice League, I could lie to you and Justice League made two billion dollars. You probably believe me. Yeah, you're like first time ever, right? First time ever live <laughs> action on screen Justice League. You, if it's I good. told you six hundred million, you would have been like opening weekend. 
<laughs> word. That was a total word. word. Yeah, word. right. Because <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's our show. Again, thank you for the Andor. Um, yeah. Uh, watch the the views on that uh, and the and likes. The feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this one person that wrote that wrote, I read right. it. I was like, I was wow, that was great. <laughs> I was well, like, was that, that. AI? That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but continue watching the show. Let us know in the comment section again, below what you guys think of all this. Um, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. <laughs> <laughs>